All right. Claim my rewards real quick. We'll proceed. Meet the mysterious voice. I have been waiting for you. That was your voice before. It was. I am the one who brought you here. My name is Nall. I serve as the mayor of the Centropolis. The Centropolis? We... we are on Need, aren't we? Oh, this is Need, all right. The Centropolis is one of Need's largest cities. So, do you people have any idea why you're here on Need right now? You kidding me? We were fighting these strange men on top of a tower in Eluria. The next thing we knew, we were here. You were probably teleported here with those men when they took themselves to need. Who the hell were those guys? A group that we call the Ten Wise Men. Before I explain who they are, I must tell you of the mistakes that have haunted Need's past. About 3.7 billion years ago, Need was a planet. Meaning... What? It's a planet now, isn't it? The need of today isn't a planet at all. What we stand on today is better known as energy need, an artificial planet enveloped in a high energy field. Oh, that must be what my dad called the high energy mass. 3.7 billion years ago, Planet Expel did not even exist in space. Even at that time, the people of Need had vast knowledge of magic science, on a level no other planet could come close to matching. As a result, Need was able to gain control of every planet in the galaxy. But Need didn't rule by force. The records claim it was a model of economic cooperation, almost a living utopia. But even in this near utopia, there live those with evil minds. They call themselves the Ten Wise Men. They were uninterested in interplanetary cooperation. They wanted the entire galaxy under their iron fists. The Ten Fanatical Madmen began their conquest by first seizing control of need with their staggering powers. One by one, Need's cities fell under the sheer force of their attack. Anyone who refused loyalty to their regime was ruthlessly murdered. They showed pity to no one, not even women and children. The Needian armed forces mustered everything they had, but they were completely routed by the overwhelming power of the wise men. Their rampage across the planet, however, did not last long. The Nidian army summoned up their remaining power, and they fought back fiercely. After weeks of desperate fighting, they finally succeeded in defeating the Ten Wise Men. As their punishment, the Ten Wise Men were exiled to Eternity Space, a prison from which there can never be any exit. The war was a complete victory for the Nidian forces. And in the process, the Nidians finally opened their eyes to the extent of the power they had wielded all this time. Even if we never asked for it, we had the technological ability to rule over the entire universe, right at our fingertips. If the Ten Wise Men ever came back to haunt us, Need would be engulfed in total war yet again. Nobody wanted this, of course. After a lengthy conference, the world-renowned Dr. Lantis offered a solution that everyone accepted. We opted to seal away our powers, 
to put an end to the progress that we had achieved. Planet Need was destroyed by the hands of the very Needians who lived there. And so it was that the entire population relocated to Energy Need, ensconced safely in its high energy field. The energy that covers this planet exists to forbid any access to or from foreign space. With it, we are totally cut off from the rest of the universe. You know the rest of the story. The ten wise men escaped from their banishment into eternity space. How they managed to escape, and how they managed to break into planet Expel, is a mystery to us. But the facts are plain for anyone to see. They are out of eternity space, and they have landed on need once again. And their goal is nothing less than complete domination of the galaxy. So those... those were the ten wise men? Yes. They are led by the all-powerful Gabriel, with the cunning Lucifer serving as their military advisor. Under them are the remaining eight wise men, which are in turn led by Michael. They are madmen, and they are to be feared. You can find out more about them in the library's database, if you're interested. Didn't you notice when they came back to this planet? We did, but the moment Expel's orbit first became erratic, it was already too late to do anything. So why did you bring us here anyway? Because you have the potential. What do you mean? As we speak, the Ten Wise Men are preparing to take over the galaxy. And they're starting with energy need. But we simply don't have the power we once had. The power that banished them to another dimension long ago. So you want us to beat them down for you? That's right. The powers that we and the Ten Wise Men have are identical. Neither side can come out on top. What we need is a different kind of power. A different kind of power? What do you think? I think we have no choice. We're already here after all. If the Ten Wise Men want to take over the galaxy, then they'll come after Expel sooner or later. Let's just hurry up and do it. Sounds good then. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to be blunt, but there isn't a moment to lose. I want to act swiftly and decisively. What should we do, though? The first thing you'll want is a mode of transportation to get you around need. Isn't that what the transporters are for? Those are installed only at our main government buildings. For everything else, we use flying symbological creatures known as Synards. Synards? If you travel north of the Centropolis, you'll arrive at North City. They have a Synard breeding farm called The Home up there. I'm sure anyone there can point you to it. Also, there is the library that I mentioned earlier. You'll find a wealth of knowledge about Need's history and technology inside. Thank you, sir. I'd say it's time to visit North City then. Reyna! How did you know my name? I have something to discuss with you. Privately. Could you stay behind for just a moment? Sure. I think I'm ready to hear the whole story now, Mayor. Reyna? I've been searching for my real parents throughout my journey, but I haven't found a single lead or clue yet. I would imagine not. If you are a Nidian, you'd be unlikely to find any trace of your family on Expel. So it's true that I'm Nidian? Yes, there's no doubt about it. Why was I living on Expel then? Where are my real parents, Nal? If you knew my name, then you've got to know that. Reyna, I'm afraid you're going to have to discover the answer to that question yourself. Myself? The journey that lies ahead of you will reveal a great deal about your true identity. My true identity? You are a Nidian, and yet you lived on Expel, brought up as an Expellion. 
I think the experience has granted you a power that surpasses that of any other Needian on energy need. Me? Don't be afraid of your powers, Reyna. You have your friends with you. You'll never be alone. You must persevere for us. Yes, Mayor. Your parents must have loved you very much, Reyna. I'm sure of it. The pendant on your chest is all the evidence you need. I apologize that I can't tell you more right this minute. No. Thank you, Mayor. Ah. I apologize for keeping you. Oh, not at all. I had best return to my duties then. Sorry I kept you waiting. Don't worry about it. We didn't wait that long. Reyna, listen. Hmm? Uh... I'm alright. Reyna? Let's go. I need to find my answers. Right. Our first stop's going to be North City, right? That's straight due north of the Centropolis, I think. That is Chisato. Ah, I will not be recruiting her. What? Ah, oh, they saw me. Who was that? This will be over in ten seconds. Okay. Mandrake with lavender. Here it goes. Last one is specific to priests.
actually. Okay. Plasma generator. Special. It's not even... Okay, I'm not misreading it. Use machinists to make a plasma generator. Mechanics toolbox special. Horrible dangerous pressures. Horse. There it is.
Weapon shop. Missions. What? Oh my god. That's hilarious. Well, the item. We can handle this. What's a goodie box? Let's go! EXP.
win this. I'd say that was nice 8 work. out of 10. Yes! Battles are gonna start taking a long time. Until I... level up a bit more. City. my money. What are you up to, Priestess? Ah, uh, Reyna! Just, you know, stuff. I was just thinking how I've been living alone with my dad for so long. Sometimes I think it'd be nice to have a brother or sister. You were an only child, weren't you, Priest? Don't you ever feel that way too sometimes, Reyna? When I was a child, I was friends with Diaz and Cecile. They were like having a real brother and sister in a way. Really? I never really had anyone like that, so... I remember begging my dad to give me a brother or sister back when I was a kid. That must have given him some serious headaches. Now that I look back on it, it was pretty mean for me to do that to him. 
I'll never forget the look on his face when I asked him. It was the first time in his life he didn't know what to say. How about this, Priestess? Maybe I could be your big sister. Oh, if only you really were my big sister. Reyna, can I ask you for a favor? Of course. What is it? Is it all right if I call you sis? Just once? <laughs> well, sure. I can't let my little sister down. What about my dearest, beloved sister? <laughs> is that okay? <coughs> that I'm not luck. so sure about. I'm just joking, sis. Oh, Priestess. <laughs> Thanks, Reyna. Yummy! This looks really good. Oh, it's just delicious. I'll get that too, then. You're buying more? You should try a lot of fancy stuff when you're out on a trip, right? I can't argue with that, I guess. But I'm the one who has to carry it all, remember? Aren't you happy to be helping me out, Ashton? Yeah, absolutely. Boy, oh boy, I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Can you recommend some fruits? Certainly. How about this? It's got this sweet tart taste that I just love. Mmm, sounds good. Wrap up two of them for me then. Thank you very much. Don't come whining to me if all this food makes you fat. Nothing. Never mind. Keep on shopping. What a great couple. Ah, uh, there's just no fooling these guys. Ah. Uh -huh. She isn't stalking us, is she? No, she couldn't be. Enough. S stop. Just stop it. Please. Diaz! Diaz, you're just dreaming! C Cecile! Ah! Diaz, wake up! <sighs> Reyna. You alright? Yeah. Sorry. You were dreaming about that again, weren't you? It was my fault. No, Dias, it was not. You've got to stop blaming yourself like this. Can you just leave me alone, please? I need to be by myself. Sure. Sorry, Reyna. Just don't have what it takes to help Dias right now. Uh. 
Alright. Done with the private actions. Excuse me, Mayor Nall told us we could obtain a sign art here. Oh, are you Ms. Raina Lanford? He's already contacted us about you. You can head over to the director's office if you like. Ah, good to meet you. The mayor told me all about you. My name is Artis. I'm the director of this facility. Uh, this man will be handling the sign art creation process for you. What do you mean by creation? A sign art is a living creature, yes. But we have to program it with data about its new master before it'll follow directions and orders. Wow. That sounds kind of cruel, actually. Well, the sign arts we raise are genetically modified from the moment they are conceived, so really it's just another part of the process. <sighs> Let's not waste any time. He'll lead you through the data entry process. So let him know if you have any questions. Thank you. This way, please. We'll begin the data recording in just a moment. I'll call you into the data entry room when we're ready. All right. Hey, you sure this is gonna work? We've never worked with non-Nedians before. Who knows? We don't have a choice. Orders from above. Man, I wish I could get a promotion. I couldn't really understand much of what those people were saying. Um, Claude, do you think there's any way we can tell people on Expel that we're on energy need? Huh? Well, I mean, from Expel's point of view, we pretty much vanished into thin air, didn't we? Look, about Expel. What is it, Claude? Never mind. Well, we're all set. Right this way, please. All right, we'll begin with Claude's personal data. Please proceed inside. It's completely painless, I promise.
Now stay perfectly still until I say it's okay to move. We'll be done in just a moment. All right, you're free to go. Oh, already? Next up would be Reyna. This way, please. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now just relax. All done. I'm glad there's at least one data subject I don't have to worry much about. What? Anyway, next up. What was that? We've lost control of the Synard we're working on. What? It's going to destroy this place if we don't do something. Claude. Let's go. Whoa, there it is. Is there nothing else we can do about this? Uh, I'll need to do Don't my let best. your guard down. One feel. Whoa! Nice. Excellent. Yes. Well, I never thought this would happen. No offense, sir, but what did you expect? We were inputting data from an alien species into the Synard. Of course, this was gonna happen. Now wait just a minute. We lost one of our valuable Synards thanks to you. So now what? Listen, we weren't... An apology's not going to make up for this. Director, I'm going to need a boost in my research funding to make up for this. What a terrible thing to happen. I'm sorry, sir. No, it's not your fault. It was the Synard who wouldn't accept your data. But it didn't have to die for it. Well, it's obvious by this point that inputting your data into a Synard isn't going to work. So what will we do now, then? Well, there is one thing we could try. What's that? We better not discuss it here. Let's go back to my office. Nuts! If only I were a little earlier! I could have had my front page exclusive! Enraged Synard Levels Breeding Facility! Ow! Thank you. I don't really want too many people to hear this. Not that it matters much to them. I look forward to recruiting you in the Claude playthrough, Isato. I'm not sure what you're getting at, sir. Don't worry about it. Just go over into that transporter over there for me, all right? It's unlocked. You. Yes, sir. What was that about? You'll have the rest explained to you on the other side. Hopefully, the mayor won't have any complaints. Are we getting involved in something under the table here? Hey, you're here to save the universe, aren't you? We all have to make some sacrifices along the way. What do you mean? Look, do you want a Synard or not? Just get going. Uh, all right. you one question though what whose data was it that made the Synard go out of control I don't see the point of answering that question fair enough <laughs> where are we this time planning on it. <clears throat> Just let me open treasure chests first.
What are you doing in my home? Well, um... Well, I would introduce myself, but that would be a strange way to start things off, given the circumstances. I'm really sorry. We were transported here from Artis's office. Artis? Yes. Null sent us there to get a sign art. It didn't work out too well, though. I see. So you're the outsiders that were transported to Energy Need. You knew about us? Yes. Only a certain few know, mind you. It's the same level of classification as the return of the Ten Wise Men. I apologize for coming here so suddenly, but we simply have to have a sign art. Is that why you came here? Yep. The sign art we had in North City went berserk on us during the data entry phase. Ah, that figures. You wouldn't be here otherwise. So you know what you're supposed to do for us? What? Didn't Artis even tell you where he was sending all of you? Well, where are we? You're in the Endangered Species Protection Zone. I'm Noel Chandler, Director and Resident Zoologist. So you're here for a wild sign art, then? Wild? Sign arts were originally wild animals. The sign arts in North City have been genetically re-engineered for the Nidians' purposes. There are wild ones, too? Near extinction, but yes. In fact, the last one's in the critically endangered protection zone. You'll be meeting that sign art in just a moment. I imagine you'll be fighting soon afterward. Why? It's perfectly natural sign art behavior. Once a sign art realizes its opponent is stronger in might and will than itself, it will defend its new master with his life if needed. So we just have to fight the wild sign art and beat it? You make it sound so easy. It's not just a matter of physical strength. If your heart isn't in it, then it's simply not going to happen. Do you think you have what it takes? Um, Noel? How about we pay the sign art a visit then? But this is the last wild sign art in existence! If it dies, it dies. It's the fate of the species. It's as simple as that. Survival is a battle, and only the strong survive. Isn't that how it works? Now let's get going. We'll be traveling due south of here.
Not too shabby. That was tough. Should I be happy about this? Something's wrong here. It feels different from the last time I made my rounds. Different? It couldn't be. But it would never attack people. What is it? The animals around here are frantic. They're ready to attack at the slightest provocation. I've never experienced something like this before. So what? All the animals are going crazy around here? This certainly isn't your fault. But this is definitely somebody else's doing. No doubt about that. The Ten Wise Men. It's certainly something they could do, but I never imagined they would go this far. Are the animals in the protection zone usually holed up inside this cave? No, they shouldn't be here at all. Usually the Synard scent is enough to keep them away. Oh no! What if those animals run into the Synard? Easier it's than over. I thought. Wasn't too bad. Oh yeah! I, I suppose I might as well enjoy this. Ow! Oh, I hope nobody saw that. I'm never gonna find a man if they see me tripping around all the time. She never lets up, does she? I'm amazed she's out here by herself. Time to sell. I suppose this is our only Yeah. 
Here they come. How'd that Victory one feel? Is mine! I got caught on terrain. Uh... I'll go grab the sign art next time. It'll take a little bit to get through this dungeon anyway. <laughs> 